Okay, alright, so I'm Hamish. If you face time here, make sure you subscribe right here and follow me on all the social media so that you don't miss. Let's get started. So now let's see here, uh, right? Uh, this is a mixed diffraction. So mixed diffraction means, how do you know mixed diffraction means you have a number and they have another number, let's say 1 over 5. This is mixed, you can see. So how are we going to change that? So if you want to change to improper, what you do, you multiply here and then right there you add. So say 5 times 3, you get 15 plus 1 equal to 16 over 5. So this is mixed diffraction. So we have changed the mixed to improper. Improper most of the time or all the time, the number on the top, which you call it numerator, numerator is always bigger than the number at the denominator. You know what I'm saying? Let's take one more example and then we go to that question. So if somebody uh, say uh, 7, 2 or 5, so this is mixed. You can see there's a number and a fraction. So let's change it to improper. So what you do, you multiply here and write there you add. So you say 5 times 7, 35 plus 2 equal to 37. So you multiply here, up there on top, you add. It. So you get 35 and then over, over this number which is here. So now we change this number from mixed to improper fraction. So we're going to do the same approach here. So what we're going to do? So this is mixed fraction. So to change to improper, you can be improper means it's not proper. So we multiply and right here we add. So this is going to be uh, uh, 6 and 3, 18 plus 5 equal to 23. And then we over this number which is in here, which equals 6. Okay, so that's going to be our our answer you know what I'm saying for the first question that's gonna be our, our answer now let's go for a second question so that's gonna be our answer uh, 23 over 6 so our answer is gonna be 23 over 6 okay now let's go to the question 2 question 2 they say write this one is a mixed fraction <laughs> okay so you see now this is improper okay so you see how do you know improper because look the number of the top is bigger compared to the bottom. Now let me give you an example and then we're gonna to go to the question. Somebody give this a seven over two. Which type of fraction is this? This is improper because the numerator, which is the one on top, is bigger compared to the number uh, at the bottom. So now how are we gonna change it to mix the fraction? So now I'm gonna say how many two in seven? Oh, there are three of them. So there are three, two in seven, which is going to give us six, so we'll be left with one from that seven. We're only going to be left with one. So write that one on top, and then over this number, which is in here. Oh, so we change from improper to mixed. Can you see? So we're going to do the same approach here. So we say, okay, how many eighteen twenty nine? Okay, how many eighteen twenty nine? Uh, we know that three eighteen twenty one, which is twenty four. So how many eighteen twenty nine? There are three of them. Okay, 8 times 3 equals 24, you know, so there are 3 of them. So we're going to be left with 5. Oh, so from 29, we'll be left with 5, and then we over this number, which is 8. Does that make sense? Look, how many 8 in 29? Oh, 8, 8, 8, which is 24. So 24, so there are 3, 8, and I shall say 3, 8. So from 29, if we have a 3, 8 with 24, we're going to be left with how many number? Oh, we're only going to be left with what? With 5. From 29, we'll be left with 5. So we say over that number, which is 8. So we have already get the mixed fraction. Now, let me explain to you how you get the LCM. And uh, if it means it's not here, but uh, how to get LCM and highest. This LCM is lowest common multiple. And this is highest common factor. You know what I'm saying? So now, uh, I'm going to make the space a little bit and then I'll show you how to get LCM and highest common factor. Before we go to this question, before we go to this question, I'm going to show you some few examples here and then we go to, we dive into the question, to our question. So let me make a space quick. Let's go. So now we say, uh, let me get a pen here. Excuse me. Just a second. Yeah. 
got it. So now let me explain to you how we get lowest common multiple and highest common factor. For example, if somebody give you this example here, for example, somebody let's say give 24, let's say find the lowest common multiple and highest common factor of let's say uh, let's say 24, let's say 24, 24, 30, and 42. So first and foremost, you need to know prime number. Okay, before you do this, you need to know the prime number. What is the prime number? The prime number are uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Okay, so prime number number only divisible by itself and 1. That's what it is. 2, 3, 5, 7. What about 9? Nine? 9 is not because 9 can be divisible by 3. And we don't need that. And the prime number is only divisible by itself and 1. So these are some of the prime number, you know, 13 and then you go 17, 15, no, because 15 can be by 3 and 5, you know. So now, these are prime sum of the prime number. Okay, so now, let me show you how we can get calcium and HCF. So what you're going to do, see, you say, oh, now, start with the face calcium. Can any of this number or all either one or all of them can two if you take none one or one or all of them either one or any of this number can some of this divide by two? Oh yes. So two is gonna work. How many two in twenty-four? They are twelve. How many two in thirty? They are fifteen. How many two in four two they are twenty? One means just divide. So 4 divided by 2, 12. 30 divided by 2, 15. And 42 divided by 2, 21. Now, now we go. Okay, end of this number, divisible. So now, do not go to 3. I mean, do not go to the next prime number until you f this, you make sure like none of this number divisible by 2. Oh, we still have 12. 12 can be divisible by 2. So we go to 2 again. You know what I'm saying? Let's go 2 again. So you see, this 12 divided by 2 again, 6, but 15 cannot be divisible by 2. So you don't need a reminder here, okay? We don't work a reminder, so just write the way how it is because you don't want to have a reminder. Now, 21 divided by 2 also is going to give us a reminder. So we don't want to deal with a reminder here. So just write the way how it is. We only want the number which when we divide, it does not give us a reminder. Now, let's go. Can 2 still go again? Oh, yes. 2 can still go again in 6. It's going to give us 3. And this is going to give us what? 5. And this is going to give us what? 7. But not excuse me not you see these two here at the first group when you when you, when you divide it, it divide for all the numbers the first one the second one and the third one so this one make sure you tick i'm going to tell you why we tick so whenever a number divide by the all three number all of them make sure you tick okay so now we go here also when you divide by two you get three this one did not he did not so we know what a tick you only tick a number when divide all of them three now we come here Okay, even this is wrong here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's 15, 15, because when you divide it to get 3, this is stay the way how it is, even this is stay the way how it is, I'm wrong, because you divide by 2, okay, I apologize, so, okay, let me say it again here, okay, so we were here, okay, so we think we cannot go to 3 before we go for 2 again, until no number divided by 2. So we say 2 again, uh, how 6 divided by 2 you get 3, 15 divided by 2, uh, no. We don't need reminder, so right away how it is, you're 15, and this is going to be 21, because also going to keep reminder. Now we come here, can you do 2 again? No, 2 is not going to work here. So we go for the next one, which is going to be 3, okay? Now, CD3 is going to go for all of them, so since it's going to go for all of them, let's tick it. Now, 3 divided by 3, 1, 15 divided by 3, you're going to get 5. 21 divided by 3 is going to give you 7. Okay, so only this and that. These are two numbers which divide the whole line. Now we go. Uh, what is the next number? Can 3 go? No, 3 is not. So we're going to have to go for the next one, 5. Can 5 end of them? Yes, 5, yes. 5. This one? No. How many 5 5? 1. No. So write our 7. Oh. So finally, write our 7. This is going to write our 8. 
and this is going to be 1. You know what I'm saying? So we find only two number which is going to divide by the whole group. So for that case, those number which you're going to divide by the whole line, those are our highest common factor. So we're going to say our highest common factor, highest common factor are this one, the one that I will take, which is 2, and then you multiply by the other one, which is 3. So our highest common factor equal to 6. You know what I mean? Our highest common factor equal to 6. Now, what about the lowest common multiple? So for the lowest common multiple, lowest common multiple, what you do for the lowest common multiple, excuse me, you multiply all these numbers here. So you say 2, like all these numbers in group here. Yes. 2 times 2, 2 times 2, and there you go, times another 2, and then times 3, and then multiply by 5, and then multiply by 7. So now 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, times 3, 24, 24 times 5, mm, 120, 120 times 7, 120 times 7. Okay, 7 times 0 is 0, and then 14, you get you 1, 7, 8, 8, 40. So this is going to be 8, 40. So our LCM for this case is 8, 40. You know what I'm saying? Our LCM is 2, 8, 40. Okay, now, let's try to check the next example. So the first one is 8, 40. Okay, cool. So we have our LCM and HE and uh, HCF. Our HCF equals 6 and our LCM equals 2, 8, 40. So now, let's take another example. Until, because I want to make sure that you understand the concept and then we're going to come and see how easy this is going to be. So now, let's take a second example quick. I'll go quicker right now, okay? So find LCM and HCF, highest common factor and lowest common multiple, okay? Here we go. Let me get another pen, excuse me. Get a pen, get a pen, get a pen, finish, get a pen, get a pen, get a pen. Cool. Let's go, ready to go. So now we say, uh, the second one is uh, 28, 35, and 49. 28, 30, 5, and 29. Okay, now, let's get the uh, low score multiple high score factor. So now we start. What is the lowest prime number? We know prime number 2, 3, 5, 7, uh, 9, no, 11, etc. Now, what are they? Uh, can 3, 2 go for it? Yeah, 2 goes for this one. So, 28 divided by 2, excuse me, 14. And then we go uh, 35 divided by 2, no, because it's going to give us a reminder. So, you write the how it is. 29 divided by 2, no, 29. That's how it is, because only this when you divide, no reminder. Now we go. Can 2 still go? Yeah, 2 can still go. This is going to give us 7. And this is going to say the way how it is because this is just say. Uh, okay, why this tell you how it is? Because when you divide, you don't want something to keep you in mind. If you plug in a calculator, 35 divided by 2 is going to say 17.5. So those ones, no, nope, write the way how they are. Even 29. 29 divided by 2 is going to give you 14.5. Uh, so we don't want that. So write exactly the way how it is. Now you go. So you only divide by the number which is going to be no reminder. Now we come here. Uh, can two still go? No. There is no number here can go by two. Now we go. Can three go in any of this number? No. Three is not going to go. If you take seven divided by three, no. Three divided by three, no. It's going to give a reminder. Even 20, 29 also is going to give a reminder. Now we go five. Yes, five. This one is going to go. So we write here five. So this is going to be seven because seven divided by five is going to be a reminder. So write to seven. Uh, 35 divided by 5 is going to give you what? 5. And this is going to stay 29 now. Or we can do 5 again. 5. This is going to give you 1. Write your 7 exactly. And 29. You know what I'm saying? And 20. Oh my god. This is 49. But it's not 29. No, probably. It's 49. 49. 49. Shows me. 49. 49. According to the question, it's 49. Okay? And this is 49. Now we go. Okay. What is the next number? Can 5 go again? No, 5 cannot go, but we know 7. Yes, can go. Our 7 can go. It's going to give us 1. And how many 7 49? It's going to give us 7. 
and this just take one. Okay, so the last number is going to be seven, which is going to give us one, one, one. Okay, so our lowest common multiple, the lowest common multiple for this case, lowest common multiple. What is the lowest common multiple for this case? Multiply all this group here. It's going to be two times two times five times five times seven times seven. So take that one, plug in the calculator. Take the calculator quick. There's two. Uh, okay. And then multiply by five times five times seven times seven. Okay, so this is going to give us four nine double zero. Four nine double zero. Four nine double zero. But try to apply it correct, maybe. Yeah, but it should be. Okay, so now you know how to work this LCMHF. Okay, let me take um, uh, question number three. Maybe, okay, let me take four. And that's going to be the last one, and then we can go to the question here. So that's how you get LCM and HCF high school math. Okay, 16, 24, 32. 16, 30, uh, 24 and then 32 now we go okay we start with 2 yeah 2 it can go and you know we lack it it's going to go for all the numbers okay 16 divided by 2 equal to uh, 80 24 divided by 2 equal to 12 32 divided by 2 equal to 16 so what we do here remember we tick okay now we go 2 again uh, 2 is going to go for all of them again so we tick because uh, 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 12 divided by 2 equal to 6, 16 divided by 2 equal to 8. Okay, now, okay, so even here also is going to work for all of them because 4 divided by 2 equal to 2, 3 divided by 2 equal to 2, oh no, <laughs> 6 divided by 2 equal to 6 divided by 2 equal to 3, 8 divided by 2 equal to 4. Okay, now we go again, uh, 2 again, but it's not going to go for all of them, so we don't want to tick it because only the face and the last one. 1 is going to say the way how it is, this is going to be 2. Okay, now this. Uh, we go for two, one, three, one, and then we go for three, one, one, one. You know what I'm saying? So now your HCF highest common, highest common factor equal to the one that you tick, which divide the whole group, which equal to two times, two times two, which is going to give us what? Eight. But LCM, lowest common multiple. Multiply all of them. So two times two times two times two times two times two. Okay, one two three four five. Okay, so two times two times two times two times two times three. Okay, two times two thirty two times three equal to ninety six. So LCM equal to ninety six. You know what I'm saying? So let me just do one last one. Then we go to the question. You see, it's easy, man. Twenty four and thirty six. Twenty four and thirty six. 24 and 36, so now we have 24 and 36. Now we do the same thing. 2 is going to go, 24, so 2 is going to go for both of them. So it's going to be 12 and this is going to be 18. So we take it and then 2 again is going to go for all of them. 6 and then 9. So it's going to go for all of them. Okay, now 2 is not going to go for all of them. Only the first one. 3 and this is going to give us 9. Okay, and then 2 no more. So we're going to go for 3. 3 here is going to go for both of them. 1 and 3, and then 3 again, 1. So our highest common uh, factor equal 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 3, which is going to give us 4, 4 times 3 equal 12. Oh, so highest common factor equal 12. Now, lowest common multiple, lowest common multiple is easy to multiply all this number. Okay, so it's a lowest common multiple, 2 times 2 times two, times three, times three. You know what I'm saying? So now this equal to, two times two, four, four times two equal to, eight times three times three equal to nine, which equals 72, and this is our LCM. So now let's come here now. So you see now the given term of letter. Okay, let me just say, this is A square. I hope you can see. I don't know why it does this. Okay. Okay, cool. They say to the LCM of the following three terms. LCM of the following three terms. Okay, so now they give this term, but this term the term of letters. In 
10 of 4 to 12 of 11. But now you know how to solve this. So you give me 10 of 4 and 10 of 11. So what is the exam? 4 AB. You got 4 AB. First one. Second one is 6A squared and B squared. And third one is 14 A squared and B cubed. Okay, now let's get the LCM. So first and foremost, let's see uh, what is the first prime number. 2. 2, yes, is going to go. So 2 is going to go for this one. If you divide it by 2, 2AB. Two because there's an A, 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 a B. Okay, 2. Okay, let me do this. So 2 is going to go for all of them. So we say 2. It's followed by two. What we're gonna get here? Let's go set. What we're gonna get? You're gonna get what? We're gonna get. Uh, okay. If we take two, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. We're gonna be left with what? Uh, with uh, even A B can go out because there's a A B. There's a A one A one B one A one B. So let's take two A B. Because everything has to do with the letter here. Because there's a A. There's a something common A B A B A B. So now, if we take two A B here. Look, A, B, A, B went out and 2 went out. So we're only going to left with 1, 2, and A, B went out already. Now we go. We take 2. From 6, if we take 2, means 6 divided by 2 is going to be what? 3. 1, A went out here, so we left with 1, A. And 1, B went out, so we left with 1, B. Now we come here. 14 divided by 2 equals 2? 7. Okay, there are 2, right? 1, A went out, so we left with 1, A. And 1, B went out here, so we left with 2, B. Now we go. In order to end. So we still have to stick to 2 because 2 still can divide one number. As long as there's a number that it can divide. So we're going to say, okay, let's go for 2. So we go for 2. So this is going to give us 1, and this will be 3ab and this 7ab squared. Okay, so here we're done. So now we go, okay. Uh, let's go for 3ab because we can take. Uh, no, 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 you cannot take 3 because there's no 3 here. So we can take just a normal number three alone. So let's take three alone. So this is going to be uh, oh no no yeah yeah three alone. Um, yes. Take three alone. Oh, can you take three AB? And I can take three alone. Yeah, let's take three alone step by step. If I take three alone here, I'm left with AB here. This is just a one, and this will be what? Seven AB square. Now we go. Okay. AB and AB. I can take AB. I could even take here AB, but let me lower it. Okay, so I'll take AB out. So 1 here is going to be 1. If you take AB here is left to 7. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be 7. Okay? And 1A went out, so we left with no A here. 1B went out, we left with only 1B. Now we come here. What we left with? We left with 7B. Okay? So we left you seven. So we left you seven. B and this will be one, one, one. So this is what we have. So which number divide by the whole group? This guy here divided by the whole group. So the highest common factor equal to two A, B, and lowest common multiple equal to this all, which is two A, B times two times three times a b times 7 b okay now let's put it together now let's go now we go 2 times 2 4 4 times 3 2 times 2 4 4 times 3 equal to 12 2 times 7 equal to 84 now we go for letter for letters gonna be a times a is a square okay now we go for b B is 1B, 2B, so B times B times B, which is going to give us B cubed. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like B times B times B is B cubed. But for this one, A times that A is just A squared. So this one here is going to be the final answer. So the LCM for this question right there, that's going to be our final answer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to follow here. Uh, somebody sent me this question, and this should be option number three. Option three from this past paper here. Option three. I think so. Yeah. Option three. I believe so. Uh, yeah. Option three. Eight four a square b cube. Okay. Now let's go for the last one. So for the last one, they say find the LCM of, and this is 
high school in fact, but in the question they say find LCM, which is that one. Okay. Now uh, this amount the LCM of seven A square two da da da. Okay. Well, this is very easy. Okay. Okay, so now the same thing for LCM. So we're gonna write seven A square, seven square, and then twenty two S T, and there we have a four T square. Well, this is very easy. Okay. Okay. So now the same thing for LCM. So we're gonna write seven A square, seven square, and then twenty two S T, and there we have a four T square. Okay, game, same game we use. Okay, do you have anything common for all of them? Hmm? <laughs> no, we don't have anything common for this case. But two, yes, two we can go there because you know we always gotta start with two. Two, yes. So this one remind you how it is. This is gonna be if you take two out, you only gonna left with st. If you take two out from four, you only gonna left with two g square. Now we go. Still, we can use two again because we see two here. You know what I'm saying? We see numbers can be divisible by can be divisible by two. So this is gonna say the way how it is, and this tell you how it is. Here is gonna be only one g square because two went out. Okay. Now we think. Okay. What could be the next number now? Okay, seven. Because the next number here, uh, look, two, three, five, seven, eleven. So seven could be the next number. So seven we take out. So here's gonna be s square, and this gonna be s t, and this gonna be t square. Because we take seven out. Okay. Now we go for the next one. Okay, after seven. Now we think, oh, okay, so which number now? Okay, which letter? Uh, we can go alphabet because now we're only left with letter. Let me go alphabet. So I'm gonna go with S face. S. So if I take one S here, there's S square, right? Mean that two S, S times S. If I take one S, I'll be left with one S. This S went out here, you see? So here I'm gonna be left with T, and here's gonna be T square. So now, oh, S again. This is gonna give me one, this is gonna be T. This will be t square. You know what I'm saying? Now, because look, yeah, one s went out, so we left with one. Now t remember how it is, and this t square. Now we go with t. So this is one, and this t went out, like it's gone already. So we left with one, and yes, it's there. One t went out, we left with one t. T nothing, nothing. One or one one. Okay. So now uh, uh, we see we only have a LCM here. Okay, lowest common multiple. So a lowest common multiple equal, so we multiply all of them, two times two times seven times S, times S again, times T times T. Okay, so this is gonna give us two times two, four times seven, turn 80, S times S is A squared, T times T is T, T squared, okay? So that's what we have. So it's 28a squared t squared. So if I look careful here, because I'm working on some option here, uh, it's option number two. You know what I'm saying? So from, because I'm working on some one of the paper here, which is not a choice. So this could be the option number two. It's just a waste of time. When you do this question, and it's easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and you know you can just go and do donation to our patreon page i have a patreon i have a gofundme you know what i'm saying i have all the means of donation because to make this project going you know any type of donation the little that you think is too small for you it could make a lot of change and thanks a lot for all your time you know subscribe don't forget share this video circulate to a lot of people you know because the meaning of this project is program it's half as many as we can okay it's not only for one page or two because you might think it's not helpful for you but for somebody next out there it could be very very helpful so thanks a lot of man and you know any donation that you did to me it means so much i appreciate it, man it means a lot go to our patreon page 
go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it and I love you. Peace, man. Bye. You know, this is one of my students of knowledge. You know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kamri. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to buy I'm trying to buy I'm trying to buy just everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's great level, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> distinction. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to buy just everywhere, I'm man. Trying I'm trying to buy you. Uh -huh. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. 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 Huh? John exactly. Yeah, Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, or which advice would you give uh, to the people? Oh, totally trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would they trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I read it first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's mm. the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Oh